Hi everybody, Christian here. I've just been receiving a few emails lately about the, the choke feature that was added to EasyBeats Pro and EasyBeats LRG for iPad a little while ago. Uh, I thought the best thing to do would be probably to make a video and uh, explain it a little better. Uh, right here on the uh, iPad version I've got a couple of uh, samples, uh, an open hi-hat and a closed hi-hat. Now, ideally, the uh, the closed hi hat would cut off the open and vice versa, but at the moment they're they're both set to just play at the same time. So, with a simple pattern like this, I'll just show you what it sounds like. So at the moment it sounds like two different instruments, so what we'll do is we'll go into the uh, edit sample screen and uh, assign them to a choke group. Now on the, I, on the iPhone you'll have to hold down the edit button and then push a pad, but on the iPad you should be able to just double click if you'd like. Okay, so we've got the open hi-hat and we're going to assign it to choke group 1. Basically any samples you assign to a group will cut off other samples of that same group. So the open hi-hat here is set to group 1 and the closed uh, hi-hat will make group 1 as well. So if we go back it should cut each other off. So let's hear what it sounds like like that. Another example is uh, these bass loops I've got here. At the moment I think they'll overloop each other, oh, sorry, overplay each other. So if I click two in quick succession, doesn't quite sound right. So let's once again find those and assign them to a group. Bass loop one, here we go. I'll put those as group uh, four. Same with bass loop 2 and bass loop 3. Now we should be able to quickly snap between them and it should continue, uh, or each sample should cut off the other. Much better. Hopefully that gives you a quick example of uh, choke groups. If you have any questions, be sure to send me an email. See ya.